to your left hand beginner's boot camp. We are gonna be working at waking those fingers up in the left hand. We'll be developing speed and dexterity and strength in our left hand, which is often the hand that we complain about as piano players. So this is designed for beginners, but players of all levels can enjoy this as a workout to keep the left hand skills strong. So what I'll be doing is I'll be playing a series of little exercises with you. So I'll demonstrate the exercises now very quickly. And then when we get started with our boot camp, what you're going to do is just play along with me. I'll be playing each exercise for a good period of time so you'll have time to find the notes and catch up and get in the zone before we move on to the next one. So for this boot camp, we'll be looking at the five notes of the C scale. So if you can play C, D, E, F, G, you're golden. We'll also be looking at the first five notes of the D scale. D, E, F sharp, G, and A. And then we'll have the first five notes of the E minor scale, which are E, F sharp, G, A, and B. So if you can play those notes, you can do this boot camp. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna begin by placing my five finger on the C below middle C. And what we'll do to start is just begin to play a five finger C scale. And we're gonna spend a little time here. We don't have to go super fast to start. We just wanna kind of get in the zone. We wanna make sure that our wrist is up not down here, that's not gonna feel good. You want a nice buoyancy in your wrist. And that you're pushing directly down with each finger. And as we go, we're gonna start to increase our speed just a little bit. So we're a little bit faster here. And faster. Your hand's gonna start to wake up. You maybe start feeling it now. You can increase the speed a little bit more. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go slow now. So the next thing we're gonna do is bump our hand up to the D major scale. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my five finger on D. Here we go. And I'm gonna play the five notes of the D scale. So we've got D, E, F sharp, G, A. And then just back down that scale. Slow and steady. So we wanna remember that this is a boot camp. So the whole point of this is that we're spending time on the exercises. We are not rushing to get to the end because we're working on developing a strong left hand. So it's okay to take a few minutes to just play the scale nice and slow. Now I've been playing for a long time, so I'm feeling a little bit of uh, resistance in my forefinger. It's a little sore. So you might start to feel your muscles a little bit too, and that's okay, because we've got good posture, and we're gonna stretch after this. So let's start to pick up speed a little bit. I actually find this easier the faster I get. I don't know about you, you can tell me in the comments what you think. So we're at a bit of a brisk tempo now. That feels good. And we're gonna start to build some more speed. So it's gonna start to feel fast. And that third note of F sharp really changes things. It makes this feel a lot different than the C scale. Five, four, three, two, one. We did it. So we're gonna slow it down a little bit again. And then we're gonna move up to the E minor. So five finger goes to E. We've got E, F sharp, G, A, B, A, G, F sharp, E. 
and we're just going to get used to how that feels because now we have F sharp as our second note and that feels weird. So what this is going to do is it's going to work on the sort of the finger independence between your five and your four fingers. So it's a different feeling and this will actually help you to develop accuracy in your playing. So we're slowly building up our speed now. So we find a nice brisk pace. And the secret here is to make sure that you're always staying in control, that you're not playing incorrect notes and that your tempo isn't inconsistent. You want all the notes to kind of get the same amount of time. And faster, and faster. <laughs> We're almost done this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna go all the way back to C scale. So join me here. And we're gonna do this slow again, same thing as before, but this time the notes are gonna be staccato. So pretend like your piano is on fire, it's red hot, and you wanna come off of each note as soon as you push it down. And you can even pretend like the center of each key is a target if you need help with being accurate. start to build speed, but make sure that you stay with that staccato dynamic. It gets tricky. Hey, and remember to smile. <laughs> Faster. Five, four, three, two, one. Up to D. Nice and slow. Take a deep breath here and maybe check in with your posture. So are your feet flat on the floor? Are your shoulders relaxed or have they crept up by your ears? You want to make sure that you're not holding any unnecessary tension in your body as you do this. I'm going to work on speeding this one up a little bit now. hot notes and notice how the top of my hand actually stays really flat so if I had a piece of candy on there it would probably not fall off <laughs> or that would be the goal at least faster keep those notes staccato I know it's hard five four three two one all right up to E minor nice and slow Again, getting used to that feeling of that F sharp landing on your forefinger and remembering to play those notes as staccato as you possibly can. I know that I kind of uh, smoothed them together at the beginning of this one. Lost track of what I was doing, and that's okay. Just bringing my attention back to the goal, which is to play the notes as hot as possible. And we're gonna build speed now. but you just come back to it. Five, four, three, two, one. And back to C here. So let's find a nice slow rhythm. And we're just gonna pulse on C for a minute. Take a deep breath, because we're gonna change our exercise now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play staccato on the way up and legato faster on the way down. So it'll look like this, hot, 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 hot. So it's a bit of a play on the rhythm. And we're going to start 
to build some speed. So it feels like kind of a slide on the way down. So we did that one. Now let's see how that feels on D. So moving up to D, here we go. I'll count you in this time. So one, two, here we go. Staccato, D, E, F sharp, G, smooth. Smooth on the way down. Take some time to get this one. Slowly start to build some speed here. Stay in control. Remember to smile. Almost done. There we go. So let's move up to E for our last round with these five finger scales. So here we go to E. I'll count you in again. One, two, here we go. E, F sharp, G, A, and then smooth down. Kind of sounds spooky. That minor changes the whole mood. So you might be getting tired by now. Try to stick it out, we're getting to the end. speed. And faster. I think this is the hardest one. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. It's very hard to count while playing this. Okay, so we're going to move back to C now. We're going to change our exercise. So here's our C. And all we're going to do is rock back and forth between our five and our four fingers. So we're going to go five, four, five, four. And here you can have a bit of a sway in your wrist. You can tip your hand to get those notes. And the five and four are the most challenging notes I find to have dexterity between our finger independence. Because that four kind of connects to the five. So this is really good to develop that. Next, we're going to switch from four to three. Just a gentle rocking. And again, this feels a little bit difficult because the four and the three. It's that four finger always causing problems. And then we're going to go from three to two. So three, two. And you can see I'm building up a little speed here. Now two to one. go one two so I'm switching directions it feels totally different one three sounds like an engine and it's super annoying but it's good for your fingers one four and that feels more musical and then we're gonna move to one five so here we go one five so that feels pretty good we're gonna throw and a sharp into the mix now when we move our hand up to D. So here we go, D. So all we're doing is rocking back and forth on the fifth right now. But we're gonna switch directions and we're gonna do the same pattern again where we go five to four. So here we go. One, two, here we go. Five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four. Just get comfortable there. And then we're gonna move to five, three. And that three is an F sharp, totally different feeling under the hands. Gonna get cozy there, then five, two. And then finally, we're gonna land on five, one. And I'm gonna allow myself to pick up some speed. We're gonna switch gears. We're gonna go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Get cozy there. Remember to breathe. Hold your breath, and then one, three. 
staying nice and brisk in our tempo. And then we're gonna move to one four. Spend some time there. You can even play with, you know, staccato if you want. And then one five. And then for our last one, we're gonna go up to the E. So again, the sharp's gonna land in a different place on our hand. It's gonna feel different. Here we go. E. So we've got that change in directions. Now we're going five one with the accent on the five. Five one, five one. I'm gonna get ready to go to our five four. One, two, here we go. Five four. And so that F sharp, again, it makes it feel different under the hands, and this is good. We want this. I'm gonna bring the tempo up a little bit here, so see if you can match this. And then five three. Some minor scales, so it sounds different. And then five two. And five one. Okay, we're gonna switch directions. One five. One two. So we're gonna move to one three next. One three. Now we're going to start to think about how our forefinger is going to hit the F sharp when we change. Here we go. One, four. We're almost ready to wrap it up with our one and our five. Here we go. One, five. Woo! So, there we go. That is your left hand boot camp. So you might be feeling a little tired in your arm at this point. I know that I am. So you wanna make sure that you take a moment to stretch. So this is how I stretch my hand. So I'm gonna place my thumb inside the palm of my left hand, and I'm gonna pretend like I'm pushing this part of my hand into a wall. And it feels so nice. You're gonna feel a beautiful stretch through here. And then after I'm done with this one, I'm gonna flip everything over and I'm gonna push this way. And that just feels so Good on the arms and the hands. You can have a big stretch up and back and roll your shoulders a few times. Give yourself a pat on the back because that was really hard work. So you can come back to this boot camp as often as you like. You can play it along with me or you can simply memorize the exercises that we did. You can try playing them based on, you know, set a timer. Each one you could do for maybe 30 seconds to a minute or you could even consider using a metronome at home and um, playing them at a variety of speeds with the metronome to see if you can match the tempo. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this boot camp. I hope you enjoy. Leave a comment, let me know how it went and we will see you at the next one. Bye.